ask folks around here about the history of Rio Nido, California, pretty much everyone says, talk to Claire Harris. So I went to visit Claire and his wife, Carla. All right, now let me show you. Let me show you this. Here's my mother. And soon enough, he begins his story. My name is Claire Harris. I was born in Guerneville, 1920. Uh, my mother's from Odessa in Russia. My father's in Denver, Colorado. They met in San Francisco. The river's the whole reason that we're here. My father uh, worked for the Western Union. He was the manager in Santa Rosa. He, uh, he loved the river and we, that's all we knew was the river. I was brought up in Guerneville till I was eight years old. That's when my father bought the Rainier Resort. My dad owned the whole town. There were a hundred rentals, tents mostly, the hotel, movie theater. We had a bar, soda fountain, bowling alley, shooting gallery, post office, bingo game, dance hall, grocery store, beauty shop, service station, and a beach. Anyway, that's how my brother and I got started. We ran the resort for my father. At the end of the season, he said, it's yours. I managed the dance hall, the soda fountain at the dance, and the beach, and my brother ran the hotel. Rio Nido was so unique. It was a small Disneyland is what it was. Claire and his brother Herbert sold the resort in 1953 for $300,000 a pretty penny for those days. I didn't do much for 14 years until then we bought Johnson's in 1967. I was there 47 years. The beach was a social activity of the, uh, of the time. People would bring their blankets down early in the morning. They put rocks in the corners so it wouldn't blow around. And uh, we would have hundreds of people probably 1,500 people on a weekend and maybe three or 400 during the week. <laughs> We'd give the people a break. That's why there was no charge for parking or anything like that. $2 for a hamburger, uh, $2 for a beer. So we created a family business at Johnson's, no different than we did at Renito. The average working man could afford a vacation. It was a labor of love. To see people with their children, we see the same people there year after year. And what my father did, I followed along. And I did the same thing. What was your closing song every single time you had a dance? Well, when we had the dance ballroom, we had all the old songs, you know. But what was the last song? Those days of my youth were wonderful, wonderful. You 